not missing or unaccounted for, not exiled, not jailed or hung. How nice it must be for your grandkids to mourn you and point at your grave for their children to decorate it with proteas, not have to look for traces of you between John Foster Square and Paul Moore Prison. Not, not have to piece together memories scattered across the unknown. Not missing, not murdered, not barely remembered. How nice it must be to have the last word, to rationalize evil in the comfort of apartheid loot, nostalgic in your madness, not dead silent in lost earth, not a laughable sacrifice over a braai with beers. Not just another kefir in the township. Not traumatized. How nice it must be to die free. Washed in the blood of blacks. Anointed savior of the mass struggle. Commander of white scorn. Not a Tembisa hospital begging for oxygen. Not criminalized and vilified not captured, not racist anymore. Killing, <laughs> then black boy eats, eats everything. Like it was oxygen, rioting be oxygen. Black boy be eating fire and burning and bullets and tear gas and batons and flash bombs and burning governments and mashed potatoes like mom is cooking with Tabasco on top. Black boy burn your tongue though. Black boy skin be suicide bomb. Be a language he can't love in. Be bite marks and bruises and prison break like he's been fighting to get out. Black boy can't get out. Can't escape like lost in a maze. Black boy be trying to find himself. But once he does, this map don't look familiar. Just an X of a treasure that no one be trying to keep. Black boy be stuck in the lost and found. Poetry. Well, I, I could not answer him then, but now I can. I write my poetry for people to listen, hear me, digest, and it will manifest itself. But it seems as though every time I start addressing the audience, my tongue lashes meaning out of words so loud, blasting every eardrum in earshot, and people fall short of listening. Maybe they listen and don't hear me. Maybe they listen, hear me, and don't digest. Or maybe, just maybe, they listen, hear me, digest, and just vomit everything out. Mm, can happen. Ah, but there's no need to shout, because I... I managed to make God blink and I, I told him that I want to write a good deep poem. Yeah. And he told me that I will stand in front of an audience and start reciting this long poem about God and people won't get bored. I, I know he was right. But uh, just for Jay, all those who heard it, please nod. No done, you boy, bro. No done, son go nine, my wish. Son go nine. And disaster because being black is the storms that come after the calm and then comes the windy nation to blow everything out of proportion violence was never the answer but the question of caution they have been cautioned the portion of this land belongs to the earth nation custodians of the streets with melancholic heartbeats being black counted in square meters per shake per childhood at home per Liters of drowning in death and tears per canister of tear gas per person per gun magazines with our names encrypted in their long memories. But remember, Marigana, land of the dying. So where to uprising? The bullet proof. Being a black man is not bulletproof. How fast must we move to pace our anguish? We are sheep wrapped in wolf skin, winds howling. The water nation is evaporating into the ground. Nothing is growing. We are stamping our feet to awaken the ancient one's living hands. Surrender to the one living creator. But we are stuck between gods who seem to have for God. Black is the firstborn child of creation, mother nature prayed for, and God, we, the missing B between A and C, we, 
Treasure islands we, treasure islands blind, one-eyed men be, robbing islands and landmark wherever the islands I focus my islands and see. False prophets making false prophets from our proceeds. For we believe in miracles more than we believe in the God in us. Yeah. I get back pains. A wounded past weighs heavy on an aching spine. Meanwhile, hunger spreads like a rumor. Hunger spreads like an echo in an empty stomach. But we, the avatars, are mind benders. When hunger strikes, we deflect. The body has mastered the art of the placebo effect. Being black. Meet some every now and then. She has curves like mountains. I know. I want girls. And they cradle the earth into balance as she sways between stars and planets. And I felt like Adam, the first man to reach Kilimanjaro in my Up against my pride. of a beast from a man and he will become the epitome of love and love will call him by name amen, amen. Oh. muscle bone and missing rib i wish not to be known by the deeds of others like me but by serving the purpose of being a man see i am a man, man in mankind man. the kind of man, man whose heart abodes charity sweet is but a mild understatement because i bear the fruit of the spirit with my temple intricately carved with muscles made to remove obstacles from my rib and not beat her to death see love pumps through my veins so romance Ooh. is innate so responsibility and valor are common sense to what me. you see before you is amen Nothing less, but so much more. I've got strength encrypted in my core. Raw, pure, and filled to capacity with love. See, I've captured stars from stars. above and placed them in my heart. Absolutely. <laughs> Licensed by faith, I'm self driven. In more ways than one, I'm given. So tell the pilgrims of time that here stands two men for a legion of real men, and they will be spoken for. Amen. 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 It's invisible of not returning. Black boy magic is forbidden. His skin is forbidden land. It is the valley of death. His last is forbidden pleasure received at the expense of her breath. Black boy magic is dangerous. It is the art of concealing demons. This is how it feels to be a werewolf avoiding a full moon. A vampire dying of thirst. We know sleight of hand to deal the cards we were dealt. We use smoke and mirrors to hide our demeanors. How is this not magic? To be both predator and prey. To be in front of a trigger and still walk away from a crime scene. How is this not magic? Maybe not the type of magic you would like it to be. This is not fairy dust and fluffy bunnies. This is an ancient curse locked with a dead man's spell. 
This is killing our demons with a needle, a potion, and a syringe. This is their ability to sleep and stand at the same time. How is this not magic? Black boys are magicians, judged by the size of their wand. A man is never to show his wand in public. Show his wand to another man, but black ones are big though. <laughs> Best believe it. Please believe it. His pride relies on it. It might be the only trick up his sleeves to keep you. We all know the spell. Once you've gone black, you never go back. But what if this trick fails? And what is his worth? Other men have land. Other men have oil. Black men have dig. <laughs> Black men have wands. <laughs> and sometimes a Bible, whichever one makes you scream and call God. Oh. Black boy magic is walking on a thin while you're blindfolded. Mm. On this side, you are human. And on this side, you are men. Mm. This side, you are scared. And on this side, you are men. On this side, you understand consent, and on this side, you are men. What do you mean you didn't sleep with her? What do you mean she was drunk? Are you gay? As if being gay is an insult. Doomed if I do, doomed if I don't. I am suffering from the Houdini effect, constantly contorting myself into the concept of men being applauded for how much pain I can take or how long I can hold my breath. What's the point? Why won't you walk through the fire for me like other men? Catch a bullet with your teeth like other men? Why don't you have a car like other men? Why are you so emotional? You are soft. You are safe. Too safe. I like you as a friend. I remember how one Harlequin Ice Queen once invited this Arctic chest for a nightcap with ice caps. We moss coated our ticks as love, our cherubin' teeth sonar. Weathering heaps of clouds marveled at us, gathering pleats of skin measured as heat. Her pearly whites frost bit my fingertips. Glaciers for lips. At early heights, we were quasars. Adrift, we died every 30 days and were reborn in the hull of a sinking relationship on a bed of snow with ice sheets for covers. We embedded a glow, no gray high seas could cover it. How fitting a setting for two misfits arguing over the thread count of lies luminescent across fitted sheets in a fit of passion. I once exclaimed, I was her pestle, she was my mortar. Spellbound in a veil of shrooms, we'd wedded our souls using magical light beams that taught shadows how to forecast bodies of water. But in hindsight, when my heart left my mind right, aerial views revealed we were nothing but liquid nitrogen coverage on rust pores. My intuition says study his mother's alchemic ways. Your son's rays are being transmuted into cancerous arrows pointed at your Achilles heel. It's sad how the sum of magical spores from arched lilies could never heal. The bar of pain set when these supposedly open tab genitals were dismissed as that of a Trojan whore. Not worthy of trust. Bore chosen cores on mass, raw swollen sores for past warness, cracked glass shields. I lost count at how many times we had to press repeat. You, a modern day Chesapeake Ripper in this brazen merger, Hannibal. I, the Mason Verger, gullible, fed you the best parts of me. I cut my nose despite the rumors I had to face, and yet you still fed me to the dogs. <laughs> But I have since been refining my ability to deduce the function of a machine by studying the ridges in its cores. And I now understand the function of my first and last panic attack. Like diamonds, 
we need pressure, heat, and darkness in order for us to see the light that lies dormant inside of us. Thank you. The boss knows more. The wall stabbed me with a shrug, and I hide my stomach like all these papers on the floor, swallowing poems and cum. And with all of this, I pray for amnesia, hurt, a break. From what? I do not remember. I've been praying so much that I forgot. I remember saying that hoeing is a coping mechanism as a joke stuck in my laughter's throat as to say if I do not come, I still feel better. If I come, I still feel better. If you do not come, I still feel better. Then this guilt swallows me. How do I mention God with his dirty mouth, you ask? How do I pray to God with these dirty hands, you ask? I pray like a sinner who's lost his mouth with my heart and the worship leaks and I can only thank the heartbreak that I can speak with the most innocent part of me and my love is the most innocent part of me and my lovers came to pray, to know that they can be loved and leaving to leave me unloved. It is not hoeing when you're alone hurting in your memory. Right now I feel your eyes paint me with scriptures of hell. <laughs> yes, I know my way around a body than I know my way around my own solitude. And we all think he looks so innocent, eh? I hear your short whisper, but we forget that we all know the edge of something. And we wait there. We all think everyone is okay until we search at the edge of every struggle when we find ourselves in denial. Asking if the poems will stay when the pain leaves. Asking if the libido will remain when the love stays. Asking if the poems will stay when the pain leaves. Asking if the libido will remain when the love stays. when we pray. I kneel before you now, a drying, desperate mouth, spewing out a procession of dying words, desperate to be heard, to be herded towards some sacred drum at the end of your ear canal. Hear my plea, great carrier of our cries, there where you are, at the edge of an ominous sky. Allow me sweet collapse. Allow the hungry night devour me and spit me out on the other side of the map. Let me lie on your lap. Let me die while I still have some semblance of my dignity intact. 
while the bridge between myself and my sanity still stands erect. Before my thinning skin detests itself for my crumbling flesh, before my bones bemoan the marrow of this treacherous path, let me lie while my truth rings in tune with my relentless passions. While my immune system is attuned to fending off the demons hell-bent on my heart's thresh. Before my rickety jaw is unhinged by the weight of this haunting silence. Before my misery soars to heights beyond my slippery reach. Before my dreams transform into a raging mob intent on acquired violence. Let me slip into the clutches of a bottomless sleep. My gentle spirit yearns for whatever good the night still holds in secret. Grundy. Amen. Church is out. Thank you, Bazalwani. Um, quick.